what is going on you guys and welcome back to another video in today's video we're gonna create this now for this tutorial i also used affinity photo to create that red part of the animation which you saw in the video as well now you can always use other uh, applications you don't have to use affinity photo if you don't have it and uh, you can use procreate probably some other free applications as well but it's really important that you're able to save them as a transparent PNG file. That will really help you out when it comes to the animation part later in this video. Now, before we jump over to LumaFusion, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That would be highly appreciated. Check out robhkvlogs.com if you want to join the LumaFusion Masterclass course, or if you are looking for any presets or templates or intros, whatever most of the things that you want is probably on that website. Now with that said, let's jump over to the iPad and start this tutorial. Now to create the animation, which you saw in the beginning of this video, we will need to get ourselves a world map. Now, I did that by going over to Google, then searching for world map high resolution, and I found the world map that I wanted to use. Now, for the animation part, we're going to use Flipaclip. Flipaclip is basically an app which allows you to draw your own animation. Now, we're going to open up Flipaclip, and we're going to create a new project. For the project name, you can type whatever you want to type. I'm going to type T. Now, for the background here, we're going to go on and tap on the background color, and we're going to go down to the image here and select our own photo. Now let's go over to photos library and choose all photos and then select the world map. Here we can do some fine adjustments to the photo if you want to do that. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it like it is. Now for the settings here on YouTube 720p, we're going to tap on that and select 1080p. And for the frames, we're going to select 24. The reason I select 24 frames is because that's what we're working with in Luma Fusion. Once that is done, we can tap on create project. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to adjust the size of the brush to around 10. And I'm also going to change the color to white. Now, once that is done, I can zoom into the place where I want to draw the line. So we're going to choose South America. And uh, there is one crucial part when it comes to animating your lines. Let's first take a look at that. Now, we're now at the first frame here and we're going to draw our line. So we're going to start by drawing a simple line here, just like that. And if we now tap on the next button here, which is uh, adding a new frame, we will have to redraw that first line as good as possible uh, and then continue for the next frame. Now, if we do a playback of that, you can see that the line is wobbling and that's not something that we want for this type of animation. So what we're going to do is to simply delete this second frame here. And on the first frame, we're going to tap hold and we're going to choose the copy button here. And then we're going to choose paste, which is the last one. Now, what this does is to add a new frame with the exact same of animation line as we drawn on the previous frame. So by doing that, you can have a more consistent look to your animation. Now, I do recommend that you draw short lines and you spend some time on doing this to have the animation look the best. The faster or longer lines you are drawing, the more rough your animation is going to turn out to be. But for this tutorial, we're going to go a little bit faster and a little bit longer on the lines so you get the indication of how it's done. Now, since we are on the second frame here, we can continue to draw the line here. So I'm simply going to draw this a little bit longer like that. And again, we're going to tap hold on that current frame, choose copy and then paste. We're going to zoom up here and we're going to continue the line around the continent here. And again, tap hold copy, paste, and we're going to continue to draw the line around South America. So now that we're finished with the line, we can do a playback and you can see that we have the animated line around South America. Now, to get this to be sort of transparent and to be usable within the Luma Fusion for the sake of the animation that we are going to create, we're going to go over to the three dots here on the top right corner. We're going to go to Project Settings. 
we're going to tap on the image here and we're going to tap on the color filler and then we're going to select green and then save changes and we now have a green background to the animation. Now once that is done we're going to go back to the three dots, we're going to choose a make movie and we're going to tap on make movie and share and then more and save this as a video. What I also did was to go over to affinity photo and to create this layer here. Now you can do this with other applications which are free but I happen to have affinity photo so I chose to use that and it's a little bit easier to work with. Now. Once we get over to the layers here, you can see that I draw this on a pixel layer. I didn't draw it on the background. Now, if I had to draw this on the background, I would be quite limited to what I could do with the animation. So I chose to add a new pixel layer by tapping on the plus, then choose pixel layer and made sure that that was selected. And then I draw the continent. Now, once I was finished with the drawing, I simply had the colors red here and I was unchecking the background and then I saved this as a PNG file. Now, once I saved this, I had the uh, option to do whatever I wanted to do with this because it's only the red part which is visible and the remaining parts are transparent. Now, let's head over to Luma Fusion. Now, once we get over to Luma Fusion here, we're going to go over to photos and we're going to import the photo itself here. So let's find that. And here we have the photo. Just going to drag that over to the timeline and stretch it out. So here we have the photo of the world map. The next thing I'm going to do is to take the animation and drag over to the timeline. I'm going to go into edit on this animation right here. And I'm going to go straight over to speed and reverse and slow this down to 50% to see if that works. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to go back to edit here over to color and effects and the keyhole and then choose green screen key. I'm going to use the settings of 40 on hue range and then saturation range and brightness range is going to be around 70. The next thing I'm going to do is to remove the flip a clip watermark here since this is the free version of flip a clip and I'm going to do that by going over to cropping. And I'm simply going to crop in the lines here so the flip a clip watermark disappears. Now, once that is done, we can do a scrub through here on the timeline to see how the animation looks. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to take this up to track number three and import the PNG file here, which I made in Affinity Photo and stretch that out. Now, once that is placed, we can go over to the settings of the red color here. Simply go into edit here and over to frame and fit. And we can go to blending here and change the blending to 50%. What I also want to do is to go over to transitions and I want to add a cross dissolve at the beginning of the red layer here. So now we're basically done with the animation here, but there is one more thing I want to add to spice this up even more. And uh, of course, we are almost forgot that we need to have a, a line here at the end of the animation as well. So to do that, we're going to go over to the end of the frame here. So we see all the lines and uh, we're going to just uncheck the boxes on track one and two and go over and make a new snapshot. Once we created this snapshot, we can take that photo and bring back to Luma Fusion and extend it. And we can uncheck this again so we see everything on the timeline and we can go into edit on this photo over to blending and select blend mode screen. So that allows us to get rid of the black background. So we now have the lines staying for the entire duration. But there's one more thing we want to do to spice it up. Now, as this starts to get red here and the lines are coming in, we want to add some different colors and desaturate what's around the animation here, which we want to highlight. So I'm going to go into the main photo here and over to color and effects, and I'm going to add an original. On the first part here, I'm going to create a keyframe since I already navigated to the position here on the timeline where I want the animation of the colors to start. So I'm going to go into edit on that again and over to the first keyframe and let's go a little bit further in time here to something like that. And then I'm simply going to take the brightness down a tiny bit and the saturation. So we end up with something like that. 
So now we're basically done with the animation here, but there's one more thing that we want to add. And to add that, I'm simply gonna do a render of this uh, project here. So I'm gonna delete this and trim it down at the end. And I'm gonna render this out. So the settings I use for this is 4K and uh, 50 megabits per second at 24 frames per second. Now, once this is rendered, we can take the video file here, import that back to the timeline here. And we can go to the edit part here and over to frame and fit, go to the beginning, make a keyframe, then go to the end, make another keyframe. And on the last one, we can zoom in and place it where we want it to be. So now we basically have the animation of the uh, map here as well. And now to get some text in here as well, I'm going to add an overlay title and I'm going to stretch this so it matches the clip below like that. And I'm going to go into edit on the text layer and make sure that I am at the beginning of the text here. And then I'm going to go over to titles and change the text to South America like that change the font to something else and the size as well. And I'm going to place it where I want it to be. So that looks perfect. And back to frame and fit here. And yes, so the next thing is to actually copy the keyframes from the layer below and paste that on the text layer. So we now have the animation to the text as well. And I want the text to come in right when the red is starting to come in as well. So I'm going to stop it there and cut the text and add across the sole here at the beginning of the text like that. So if we now do a playback of this, you will see that you have the animation lines and the colors and the text coming in whilst the rest here is getting desaturated. So with the Flip a Clip app, you can basically create animations which you can then implement into your LumaFusion videos and you can get the free version or the paid version. I'm just using the free version for now because I don't need to use it for videos which are longer than six seconds. So basically the free version allows you to use clips up to six seconds and imagine how long it will take to make some super smooth animation all the way up to six seconds. You're going to sit there with the line after line after line for days. So I, I don't rec I, I'm, I can't say I recommend getting the, the paid one for now because you can do most of what you need to do with the free version. Uh, I will check out the limitations and so on later and we will always, oh, oh, always, we will also come back to uh, this app for future tutorials as well because I have some crazy ideas on how we can make some really nice effects using this app. Now, with that said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. If you liked the video as well, make sure to comment down in the comment section below what you think of this video and is it something that you would like to see more of. That's the Flip a Clip app, I mean. So, with that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.